behind me, no, no, God would not contend with people like that. Mm -hmm. No, you can't tell me anything to make an argument all the time out of everything you're trying to do. And you want to say it sometimes, so just do it. You got, you got a question is why? Why I got to do that? But, and so you then, you, it doesn't, you like pants with the shirt because I said so. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we don't have to know why. God always, he, God will uh, not always give us a prize and wear force back there. Mm -hmm. He said just do it because I told you to do it. Just mind me. Mm -hmm. He ain't got to even tell you why. God don't have to tell us nothing. He's God. Mm -hmm. Do what He want to do. All He asks is what we do is obey. Mm -hmm. um, and I remember the song, um, New Jerusalem was saying a lot of the prophets still do. They say it when they say it most when they have the communion. That blood, that blood came down from heaven. Feed me until I want no more. Talking about man, I believe. In, in the Bible, when there was grumbling and complaining that not having that need God gave man and they start complaining say what is it? Man means what is it? And I, m I remember mama was, was uh, Jane, James in the service and she, mama raised one before my baby. She would put a plate before and, and Twan was very picky eater. And she said, what is it? Because she had a song for it. What is it? Mom said, you just eat it anytime, but what is it? You just eat it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she, was, she always would ask my what is it? We're picking out food. What is it? And my, my mama would tell her all the time, just eat it. Tell what is it? And, and so it is with God. Mm -hmm. He tells us what to do and tells us where to go. And they was what to eat, gave them what to eat. They tell me what is it? But but then before that they didn't have nothing. Then we gave them they, they tell me what is it? And I, I, there's a word in the Bible where he gave the asked for something, he gave them more we just gave them so much it choked them. Mm -hmm. So it's not good to be greedy, it's not good to be obstinate, a stubborn, a hard headed. Mm -hmm. and, and somebody say, Watch what you pray for. You mm -hmm. just might get it. Mm -hmm. might, you might get it, but when you get it, you find it you don't want it. Mm -hmm. Both these definitions describe me, what the writer said. Do, they're talking about the abuse they had suffered. But God will not continue with hard headed people. I'm almost done. Mm -hmm. When God heard, I read this, when God heard this, he was full of holy wrath and he utterly rejected Israel, great them whoring and loathing their ways. So that he forsook the tabernacle of shadow, the tent in which he had dwelt amongst men, and never returned to it again. I don't know nobody else, but I don't want God to resent me or to turn away, away from me. Turn away from me. Get on me, correct me, whatever, I don't care. As long as you don't take his Holy Spirit away. So God, said, God that's what he does. When he gets on it and it seems like he's quivering, he does that because he loves us. Okay, and then we thank and praise God because God wants us to let him do a third work in us. Mm -hmm. So we can leave our willingness. Mm -hmm. Whatever our, whatever our willingness is, we're going to get away from it. Let we to stay and let God stay with God long enough. Don't don't leave. Get throw back hands and say we just walk off. No, stay there long enough so He can do a third work in us, mm -hmm. and so that we can enter our promised land. Whatever that promised land is to us, we can enter that. Mm -hmm. You don't care how some bad something seems to be and how long it seems to be bad. Somebody said God is working things out with us the most when we feel it the least. Mm -hmm. On our, our day when we might feel like God ain't thinking about us, we can't feel God hearing that from God, nothing. But don't be dismayed because that's when God is working it out the most. Mm -hmm. When we can't feel it. Uh, why? Because he don't want us to go by our feelings. God never wants us to go by our feelings. Mm -hmm. He never wants to get up and do something and say, Oh, I think I did so good. Because when we think we did so good, we didn't do so good. Mm -hmm. When we think it. God, God it tricks us out like that because he wants us to live in, in full dependence on him. Mm -hmm. When I say, you know, take nothing with you. Nothing. Because they, they, they people had to totally depend on God. Nowadays, when people go out, they better you take them some money to get them something to eat. Okay. Better, better do all, all those things that they need to do. 
and have some money to come back home and say, is it just in case people don't hear none? When you get it, go out and preach and do a work for the God. It's not like what it's back then supposed to be, but it's not. It's, so we thank and praise God for this word. To be just and rebellious, you miss out on, miss out on our promotion. You have an image to our promotion. You just sit there and, and just don't let the rule, nothing happen, nothing is, will ever happen because of our attitude. God looks at our actions and he looks at the reason why we do a thing. Uh, what's your reason why you're doing it? Is it jealous? Are you being rebellious? Whatever it is. God wants to ask ourselves. Take a look at me, take a look at my own self. And, and ask myself, why am I doing this? Am I jealous? And, and I heard this where I'm, I'm done. So here's what I'm going to say. Say that how she handles jealousy. When people go speaking about somebody around her, she, she was jealous of that person. She went to help them speak, say help them say something good. Even if she didn't want to do it, she did it anyhow. So then, after a while, she came to say when she came pinpoint the time. After a while, she wasn't just, wasn't just a woman no more. But she had to make herself say something nice. And she, she just sitting up there, not saying nothing. Everybody knows her name. Ain't saying nothing. But say something nice anyhow. Mm-hmm. Um, the church, uh, one of the churches, uh, I just say it this way, and I'm done. Um, I was uh, around some people in another church, and they were talking about a few years back how this uh, woman is so, so good. Oh, God knows she is good. So when they say, God knows she's so good. And I happened to know her and seen some of her work. I said, she sure can. God let me know that they want to try to make me feel bad by standing there around them and they spring on another woman. And I said, oh, yes, she can. And I meant that with all my heart. Because I saw the woman with her son. And she don't live here now. But I said, well, yes, she can. And how many know it hurts your mouth? What was, this, what was they saying in the first place? Mm-hmm. And he's saying it hurt somebody, make somebody feel jealous. God just let me know. He said to me the right now, you say something good about the woman too. Cause see, I happen to know when someone saw her work, she's really so good. But they hushed. Mm-hmm. And they ended up coming to me. And, but I thank and praise God. That he, when we, we don't thank so much about our own self. God said you have a balanced, balanced way of thinking about yourself. And thank soberly. Don't be drunk with yourself and thinking that you're all of that. Mm-hmm. I mean, if you think you're all of that, you don't need God's help. Mm-hmm. But think soberly. And you don't think that much about yourself, that's when God thinks a lot about you. Mm-hmm. But if you think so much about yourself, you, you're fooling yourself. God comes, God ain't standing. Mm-hmm. So I thank and praise God. He gives us a, a man to think balanced about ourselves so that we won't be in rebellious, mm-hmm. or hard headedness. And people, you get older, people, you still say, my mom is saying, and I'm sure so many others, hard head, make a soft hand. But I thank and praise God. He don't want, there's no place in God for rebellious people and for jealous people. Pray my strength in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen.